Zoo and the Hermit Crab. Okay, Zoo. Um, an aardvark. <laughs> an antelope. <laughs> no, Grandpa. It has to be an animal that carries its home on its back. Well, <laughs> there aren't many of those. Oh, I've got a good one. See if you can guess what it is. Ooh, uh, uh, let's see now. It has four feet and... It's a tortoise. <laughs> you got it, Grandpa. Hi, Z. Oh, what's that? It's my bucket tortoise. I'm just showing Grandpa the animal that I'm doing for our school project. Oh, I'm doing a tortoise too. I'm painting a picture of one. I don't want to do what someone else is doing. But Zoo, you can do a tortoise as well. That's all right, Elsie. I'll try and think of something else. Well, I've got some more work to do. I'll see you later. See you later, Elsie. Oh, well now what do I do? I'm going inside to think. Come on, Sue. I'm sure you can think of another animal to do for your project. How about a terrapin? Zach's doing that. He's got a pet one. Oh, I see. <laughs> What's the difference between a terrapin and a tortoise, anyway? A terrapin can go on land and on water, but a tortoise mainly goes on land. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure we can think of something else. An ant! Oh, no, that lives in an anthill. <laughs> Silly me. A bee! No. They live in a hive. Uh, I know! A snail! Grandpa, that's it! A snail! They carry their houses on their backs. Let's go and look for some in the garden. Mm. I can't see any. They must be shy. I know just where they'll be. Come on, Zoo. Oh. Oh, they're usually here. Oh, I know where they are. Where, Grandpa? Where? Follow me. <sighs> right here. Right where they shouldn't be. Oh, and it's big. I'm not surprised. It's eating all my flowers for breakfast. It's got a pretty shell. A snail is a very special animal. It carries its home on its back. This is going to be the best project ever. Hi, Sue. Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Zinnia. Hi. We were in the area. Yes, I just got this snail kit. I'm going to make a mosaic snail for our school project. You're doing a snail? Yes, Zinnia is so clever. She thought of a snail all by herself. <laughs> but I'm doing a snail. You can do a snail too. That's okay, Zinnia. I'll do something else. Well, we should be off. Zinnia needs to start making her mosaic. Good luck with your project, Sue. See you later. Bye. Oh, the only other animal I can think of is a turtle. And they live in the sea. Well, maybe there'll be one at the beach. Come on, Sue, let's go and take a look. And if we can't find one, we'll find some pretty shells to bring back for your mum. OK, Grandpa. Mum loves shells. sign of a turtle here. Well, perhaps one will be along later. Let's go and look in the rock pool. One could be hiding in there. <gasps> hmm. Lots of everything, but no turtle. Oh, yes. <laughs> a seahorse, a starfish, a little shellfish. They're all great, Grandpa, but... I wish one of them carried its home on its back. Then I could do it as my project. Hmm. It's okay. I'll do the turtle. 
I have to draw a picture of one from a book. Oh, should we collect some shells, Grandpa? Good idea, Zoo. You find some for your mum, and I'll find some for the garden. All right, there's some big ones over there. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, I'm being a crab. So am I. Grandpa, Mum will love this red and blue one. Oh, yes. Shall we have a paddle before we go back? Great idea. We can get the shells later. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk doesn't like getting his feet wet. <laughs> Let's go and get the shells, Grandpa. Then I can finish my project at home. Right you are, Zoo. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, where did the red and blue shell go? Maybe someone picked it up. But we're the only ones here. <laughs> hmm. There it is. Maybe a seagull took it. Oh, uh, yeah, you could be right, Zoo. Hmm? It has moved again. Did you move it, Pop? Now another one has moved. Come back, Shell! I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, that Shell has legs. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. It's a hermit crab. They move into a new shell when they grow too big for the old one. It's looking for a new home. It carries its home on its back. So I can write about the hermit crab for my project. Yes, you can, Zoo. Yay, crabs rock. <laughs> Look, he likes his old one better. Well, choosing a new house is a big decision, Zoo. Yes, he wants one that's just right. Looks like he's found it. <laughs> he's making sure it's a good fit. This is brilliant. No one else at school is doing a hermit crab for their projects. Much better than a snail, or a tortoise, or a turtle, or a terrapin. It's the best. Bye, hermit crab. Thank you for helping me with my project. Let's go and take these shells home, shall we? Yes, but I need to do this first. It's for when the hermit crab grows too big for his shell again. <laughs> what a good idea, Zoo. Come on, then. Time to go back to our own shell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for my shells, Bizu. I love them. They look great around the bathroom. I'll put some of the smaller ones around my plants. What do you think, Zoo? The hermit crab carries its home on its back. Uh, uh, Zoo? Oh, sorry, Grandpa. Just writing my project. <gasps> you know, Grandpa, I'm really glad we don't have to carry our house on our back. Yes, so am I, Zoo. So am I. 
Ha, 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 ha.